On my screen, I've got a points layer showing cricket stadiums in India. So let's make some changes. I'll right click the layer to turn the labels on so we can see which stadiums we're looking at. And then I'll open the attribute table. In the attribute table, we can see the name of the stadiums, the city, and also the capacity. So let's make the points different sizes based on the capacity of the stadium. Let's also use a cricket ball SVG. So where will we get that from? I searched online for a cricket ball SVG and Wikimedia Commons have one. So what I need to do is I need to copy the URL, the web address of the SVG. If you do it directly from this point, it usually won't work. You need to click on the image to get the actual file path or URL for the SVG. So I'm going to copy that and I'll double click on the cricket stadiums in India layer. I'll go to symbology then simple marker and I'll change it to SVG marker. Then I need to scroll down and in the box where it says circle on mine, I'm going to paste in that URL. I'm going to hit apply. They're all going to be size two at the moment. So we'll scroll back up and where it says size, I am going to click on the drop down, edit the variable there. And I need to go to fields and values, look for capacity because that has the capacity of the stadium. Double click that. But I don't want my points to be 55,000 in size. So I'm going to divide it by 10,000. Click OK and I'll apply that and click OK. And there we have an SVG cricket ball marker for cricket stadiums in India and the size represents the capacity of the stadium. So it's a really simple workflow, but sometimes this is a useful way to visualize things.